got a little bit of stuff going on in here. How am I going to get over there? So, yeah, there is the... Um, I don't know if I'll be able to get over there to see it. How the hell did I build this thing? There we go. Beautiful. Alright, so right here is where they initially fall from the water. They land on this uh, pressure plate. That sends out a signal down to... That sends out a signal down to here, uh, which gets inverted. That goes into an AND gate with, um, this is coming up from the ground layer, that's the day or night. It's clearly, if we're relying on the sunlight to burn away the zombies and skeletons, it's nice to have it automatically um, shut off at night and just store up all the mobs until it's daytime again. So that goes into an AND gate, and then this goes into a rising edge detector. Then we have a very long delay. Uh, oh, sorry, actually, the, the rising edge de detector also goes over here to this latch. Okay, it flips on the latch like that. Uh, or actually like that. And this goes up to the piston that's right above pressure plate which blocks any new mobs from coming in and pushes them into the sunlight chamber um, so at that point they have been pushed into the sunlight chamber we also go through a uh, eh, fairly long delay which allows just enough time for all the zombies and skeletons to burn away and then after that long delay we uh, go into um, let's see, where is even that, uh, over here, goes into a block latch, which is this, which does a too high doorway, which is the exit from the, uh, sunlight chamber. So that opens up, and then after another short delay after that opens, do 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 Here's that short delay. It fires off our dual piston arm contraption, which is all of this stuff. Um, I did a uh, another YouTube video about that. Yeah, there we go. That was that. All right, and then um, let's see here. So that that's the end point for that one. Um, over here, you know, we saw it does that latch for the blocking thing, but then it also goes through another delay which uh, balances out from the dual piston arm. That delay goes into the dispose latch, which I believe... No, it's not that. It is, I believe... Um, this one? I think it's this one, if I remember right. Comes down here. Yep, that one. So that actually opens up um, the... Uh, floor to lava, which allows all the junk loot to disappear. Nice. And then it automatically shuts itself off. That's why I have these dual repeater setups. So it'll, that single pulse will uh, open the door for a while. Then after, um, Let's see, yeah, so the dual piston arm pushes just creepers off into the final chamber. And then, yeah, we have the disposal system. And then, after another delay, uh, we set on this output latch. Uh, which basically says, you know, when this, is, when this side is on, it basically says, okay, there are critters, or probably critters, in the output chamber. That will go into a NAND gate, or an AND gate, or whatever you want to call, from the output enable lever. And if that lever is on, 
and uh, there, the latch is set, then it will actually turn the latch back off and also activate this latch, which is the crushing latch. Um, so that goes down here, which goes down to there, which pushes that piston to crush the creepers. And it also goes through um, another delay like this, which comes back, oh sorry, actually it goes like this, which actually comes back around to turn off the crush latch again. Yeah. Uh, and finally, there's one other piece in here, um, this output, uh, is it this one? No, it's not that one. It also, oh yeah, right here. Um, so after all that process is done, it also comes back and flips back off the original plate latch, which goes to the input piston here, thus completing the cycle. That's basically how it works. Um, might be a little bit easier to show in like a creative server, something like that. 